Hello everyone and welcome to my video. Um, today I will be talking about some issues that I found with my foundation wall. So um, for a while mice and even chipmunks will get to my garage and I would you know see them coming out from the um, cinder blocks from the top of the cinder blocks on my wall and I have a hollow cinder blocks so I decided to just uh, investigate where exactly they get in so I started removing all the soil from this flower bed that you see here um, and uh, as soon as I took out the soil I realized that this cement coating um, or plaster if you want to call it was never um, done all the way to the footing somehow they just stop it in the middle um, and this this flower bed was just covering it it was just a cover uh, when I bought the house you know this this flower bed was already here um, so now that I dig all the soil I realized that as you see here I have a lot of gaps uh, this is a close out pictures and you see here it's quite a big gap so not just water that will leak inside but you know uh, insects bugs bugs um, mice so as you see here another picture uh, between the cinder blocks I don't have really cements there I only have soil and and dirt once I start brushing this you know like here it's it's basically hollow I have gaps there um, some places yes like here I have cement but a lot of places they were just gaps so I knew that I have to do something with all this and, and fix it okay so as you see here I already uh, removed pretty much all the soil that I needed um, I actually dig it a little bit more later on but um, I'm just gonna show you with a close-up how bad the gaps were as you see here pretty much I can put my finger there um, as you see I'm uh, just trying to use a stick to see how far the, the stick can go and have like uh, six inches easily there basically the whole brick um, so just thought to show you how bad things are and some places you know I do have cement and you know some places might be misleading because it's just uh, dirt um, so as you see here you can imagine how much water can uh, can go through these gaps so and uh, take a look at this one um, I believe this is where uh, a chipmunk can even get into uh, the garage somehow they go inside and they probably can you know travel from one brick to another I don't know exactly uh, there's another hole there or gap here's another one um, so 
Yeah, so um, I took uh, the, uh, or I bought the uh, hydraulic cement from uh, Home Depot. As you see here, I dig it a little bit more. I went all the way to the footing, uh, right there. And uh, I covered with the hydraulic cement, the gaps that I could see. And take a look at this one. This is easily two inch. That's pretty wide. It's it's really sad how something like this can be left by whoever built this house. Um, so you know, whoever has a a cinder block foundation need to be careful. Okay, so here is what I did. I uh, almost built a second wall with concrete mix and uh, take a look at this gap here right there on the bottom that one is really a big one you can take a look at the, another, the net one next to it so as I said I made uh, pretty much a second wall uh, from the footing it was uh, almost one foot high and uh, maybe five inches width and uh, I just used uh, planks of wood and you see a line there basically it's just because I have two pieces of wood as you see there um, I used one full pallet of concrete mix it's about 56 bags and um, took me about two days and a half to do the whole thing and uh, yeah it was quite some work to do but uh, with this I guarantee myself that I don't have no water getting into through the bricks or the concrete um, blocks and as you see here uh, that that one was longer than one foot actually in height I mean and here's another picture of this or another view of that sad gap I should say uh, so I'm going to fill this one also with concrete mix. <coughs> and uh, so once I'm done with everything, I uh, did uh, one coat of uh, rubber paint. Actually, the brand that I use is uh, Henry that I bought from Home Depot. And uh, this kind of seals the secondary wall that I have there so no water can can go through can go inside so um, I hope I I sealed well the garage no worries about mice or chipmunks or water and uh, that's that's about it thank you